Hello, welcome to the Women with AI's very first podcast. And in today's conversation, I want to introduce Joanna Shilton, who's going to be the host of the new show. And we're going to just have a quick chat to let everybody know what the show's about and what to expect. And I will let Joe introduce herself to everybody. So hello, Joe. Hello, David. Thank you. So are you getting excited? I'm getting very excited. Um, as soon as you approached me with the idea of the podcast, I'd listened to yours, obviously, Creators with AI. And as soon as you said you, you had, oh, pleasure, um, said you had the women with AI and said you were looking for, for someone, I immediately started telling you about someone I work with because she's working with uh, autonomous vehicles and how she'd be great. And then you said, no, I want someone to host it. And I don't know what happened. I just said, yes, I'd, I'll be your host. <laughs> well, you didn't actually ask me. I just said, I'll be your host. <laughs> No, you, you jumped in there. And for me, that was the, the most important thing is I've mentioned this to loads of people in the past and everybody's like kind of just disinterested or, oh yeah, okay. And you were on it straight away. And so that's why I was like, okay, good. She'll be a great host because you were excited about the idea. And if I remember correctly, you said something about at one point you wanted to be in radio or something, didn't oh, you? Yes. I used to live in Bath. I once sent a tape <laughs> off and I think they were Did looking you? for... For um yeah for for hosts for a radio show for DJs and I sent one I had a friend that worked there and he encouraged me to send it in I never heard back but maybe it got awesome. lost in the post uh -uh. but <laughs> I'm quite happy because I then said to you immediately afterwards I don't know much about AI I'm not an expert and you quite handily pointed out that I don't need to be the expert not yet exactly because everyone that we ask to come on the show will be the expert well and you know they don't have to be. <clears throat> You know, on, on the show that I've done creatives with AI, it's, you know, I've had all sorts of people on and what's been really interesting is to sometimes get the expert's opinion and sometimes to get, if you want to call it like lay people, right? Mm -hmm. So people who aren't involved in, in, you know, heads down in the tech all the time to kind of understand what their perspective is on it as well. So yeah. I think it's good to have a mix of both and we've got what, I don't know, I think between the two of us, we've got probably 20 or 30 sort of fantastic women that we can talk to lined up, um, you know, for conversations, you know, moving forward. So I think that'll be amazing. Absolutely. And I'm and as I said to you, I'm not the right person to host this conversation. Do you know what I mean? As well, as yeah, a bloke, you needed a woman. I'm probably not. the. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I because I can't I can't really empathize with some of the topics and that sort of thing. And I don't really understand. So I think the the show needs to be hosted by a woman and I think you'll be Thank brilliant. Thank you. It's going to be an honor. I'm very excited. And I think you're right. You don't have to be a seasoned professional within the industry of AI, but I think AI is everywhere. So everyone's probably curious about it. Everyone's enthusiastic about it one way or another. So I think this is going to be an interesting journey for me and the audience. They can learn with me. So we can have people listening that know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> people that know everything and I want to hear what, what what the experiences and challenges are for women working in AI and how we can awesome. yeah, encourage more women to pursue careers in AI if that's what they want to do and where our place is to support advancements. Brilliant and so tell me just a little bit more or tell everybody a little bit more about your background and what you've been doing for the past few years? Past few years. Well, I've been living in Cambridge. Before that, I lived in Bath and I worked for publishing companies in Bath. So everything from the water cooler industry to uh, cinema magazines, so a wide breadth of different publications there, and then moved to Cambridge. Uh, I previously worked for a marketing agency at one of the private schools in the city and I've been working for the county council but I actually currently look after communications and engagement for a program called Connecting Cambridgeshire and we're driving digital infrastructure for Cambridgeshire and Peterborough so we're looking at things like smart technology, sensors, autonomous vehicles, that kind of thing and that's really what's piqued my interest in this because AI is everywhere and I want to learn more about it and that's the exciting part of the job that I do so I think this is a great fit for me to learn more and to use the knowledge that I've gained already to be able to ask people as we all navigate the complexities of AI. And do you have a sense how, how often do we want to do the show? 
Do we want to try and weekly's quite weekly sounds a bit scary straight away, David. Let's calm down. I'm not I'm not AI. <laughs> <laughs> I need to ease myself in. <laughs> Have you um, and look and well, just so anyone listening knows, we haven't really talked about this in too much detail yet, but did you have a sense for like every other week or every three weeks? Once a begin? month. I mean, once a month doesn't sound like every enough, does it? I think we need to get no. a few in the bag and then we can keep going. And uh, maybe no one will ever hear this if they all turn out terribly. <laughs> but I'm sure they won't. <laughs> nah, it'll be fine. We've uh, we've got nearly 100 followers on oh, LinkedIn there you already. Go. I haven't, e- we haven't even exactly. done a show I haven't yet. even been announced as the host. <laughs> That's right. So, well, this will be the one. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Better tell yeah. your boss. It's okay. It's Jordy knows. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. Um, cool. And do you, so do you use AI or have you used it much at work? Uh, yeah. I. Or in your personal well, life? Chat GPT. I certainly use that. That's helped me um, to write things for work, but also in my personal life. I won't go into any details yet about what I used it for. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, so I, I, everything's AI, isn't it? I think that we're using from Siri that you talk to, Alexa that you talk to. I better not say those names out loud because uh, everyone's yeah, will start fun. going off. Perfect. Yeah. Hey, Google. <laughs> exactly, that one too. <laughs> and the other AIs are available. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so yeah, I think we're all using it every day, even if we don't realize we are. And what do you, what's your general perspective on it? Are you sort of, are you glass half full or glass half empty? Well, I'm pretty much glass half full most of the time about everything. I mean, I'm just happy there's something in the glass. Um, But (laughs) But I've gone from the sort of initial, oh, AI is going to take over the world and we're all going to be dead and killed by the machines and the robots by 2045 or something like that. But no, I think the important thing to remember is that any AI is only as good as the people that are coding it but then also the people that are using it you've got to be able to to trust the people because people are the problem not AI so I think there's it's exciting it's an exciting time or at the very beginning of the AI journey I think I know it's been around for many many years many many years since you know middle of the last century but it's exponentially growing at a rate that well you could predict but I think there's so much that we can learn. I think even, you know, not even 10 years or five years, I think in a two or three years, we'll look back and look at everything that's coming out now and just laugh at how ridiculously basic it might seem. So I think, yeah, there's a lot ahead of us. And I think it is quite scary, but there's lots of policies. You know, people are talking about ethics. People are talking about the morality behind it. And I think we've got to trust the people that are using it, but that's easier said than done. But yeah, there need to be there needs to be policies and there needs to be a way to look after it. And I think we have to embrace the feminine side and maybe become mothers to AI rather than fathers. That could be a bit of a controversial statement. But I think, you know, we've got to nurture it. We've got to nurture AI and make sure it's doing the right things. And so if it does take over, (laughs) we we can feel safe. That's why I always say be exactly. nice to it. Exactly. I like that. Someone said the other day that if you're using chat GPT, you should say that you'll pay a, pay it £20 <laughs> or give it a reward <laughs> if they do it. But I'm always polite. Well, they, I always say thank you. Yeah. Say thank you. Now could you try doing it a little bit different? <laughs> the scary part is what they've discovered is, is that it actually works better if you're slightly rude oh, really? to it. Oh, really? Apparently you get better Treat results. Keep them keen. Something like that. And I, for me, that's really worrying because yeah. I don't want it. I don't want us to train it to be mean. No. Well, who did that? I think who wrote that in the code? Or well, where's it learned it from? That's the question. It's learning, Well, I don't know, it? but it, it is. But I think it goes back to that whole reward mechanism, which is how it works, right? It just, all it's trying to do is make you happy and to give you an answer that you say, yes, that's what yeah. I want. And if you keep telling it no, then it will keep trying. Mm. And I think it, yeah, it's, it must have something to do with that. You know, it's just part of the, the inbuilt mechanism of how it works, but it doesn't, you know, for me, I'm like, personally, I'm polite to it because I want to be a polite person and it doesn't matter 
who or what I interact with. I just want to be polite because I think it's nice and I like to be nice. Treat people as you would be treated. I always thank Alexa when she's told me something. (laughs) There you go. There you go. Exactly. Um, So, yeah, you know, and it, it, it just teaches lessons. But I think that could be one of those weird unintended consequences as we see society gradually just fall off this politeness edge. I mean, it's already bad, right? Like compared to what it used to be. And and certainly where I grew up in the U S we still, or at least as far as I know, you know, we still say ma'am and sir to people if they're adults that we don't know or people that are, and I say that there's adults that will say yes, ma'am and yes, sir. And all that to people that they don't know because it's just a sign of respect. Whereas, you know, I think a lot of the younger generations don't do that as much, but maybe they do. I just, I haven't been home in like, thir- well, 25 years, I guess, you know, very much to know. Well, but Different um, places around this country. I was, so w- I'm in Cambridge, but I went to the Lake District and the people there are so polite, so helpful. Even in the supermarket, you're in the supermarket, you've loaded up all your stuff. Before they even start scanning, they say, hello, how are you today? And it almost takes you aback. You're like, what? I'm not used to someone saying that. Normally, the cashier just scans it. No one's saying anything. They might thank you for paying or you thank them for giving you the receipt. But no, it was, and it was a really refreshing change. So who are you going to be your first couple of guests on the show? Very excited. Our very first guest who will be on the show for our launch date, which is Friday the 8th of March, also International Women's Day 2024, will be Sophia McViva. And she is the CEO and founder of Tech for Non-Techies. So that's her podcast, Tech for Non-Techies podcast. So very excited to be having her on as our first guest because she'll be. And I am a non-techie. So <laughs> I think perfect. it's a perfect introduction <laughs> for everybody. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, yeah, we've also got our second guest lined up already. Um, and that is the fabulous Isabella Russell, who is best known for her role as CEO of Music Radio Creative. And for anyone who's listened to the Creatives with AI podcast, if you've listened to any of them, I had her husband, Mike Russell, on. Mike's a, an influencer. He's got like 300 and over 300,000 subscribers on YouTube and like 30 million views or something crazy. Mm. And they are the absolute most lovely couple in the world. So I know you'll have an amazing conversation with that, with uh, with Isabella. I'm very excited. So, I hope they're yeah, both I can't yeah, wait. prepared for me for my first foray <laughs> into being a podcast host. <laughs> It'll be amazing. It'll Thank be amazing. You. I know you'll have a good conversation and they'll ease you in nicely into the whole into the whole process. And then yeah, so every couple of weeks then we'll look to to put out a new yeah. episode in the beginning and we'll see how that goes. And then if we can get in a good routine, maybe we'll speed up later, but every, every few weeks, two to three weeks, we'll, we'll, we'll do an episode and see how it goes. I'm sure I've got people in my mind lined up and I know you have as well. So it's all very awesome. Thank you, David. Bring it. Well, I think that's enough for today. I just wanted to sort of have a quick chat with you and introduce you to everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello. And, um, everyone. And yeah, We'll uh, we'll see you on the 8th of March. Thanks for listening.